Hey beer tubers, I decided to finish the other beer that Beer Noob sent me, so here we go. It's Heavy Seas Merzen, and that's how you pronounce it by the way when you have the, the umlaut. It's uh, Merzen. Um, if you read it without the umlaut, it'll be Marzen, which sounds close to March, which is what it means. Merzen is March. So anyways, I was looking on Beer Advocate as far as what exactly a Merzen is, and it's very interesting reading up on how some of these beers came about. And how it came about was, um, now a brewing back then stopped from the springtime because afterwards uh, the beer, due to the hot temperatures of summer, uh, ended up getting infected by bacteria. So they couldn't brew beer around that time. So what they did was they made these beers and they kept them in cool places so they would actually last a long time and all the extra malt that they put in uh, was able to have the beer last uh, during those times um, when, when it was really hot and they didn't have refrigeration. So that's how the Merzen style came about. It's a reddish dark rich copper colored lager. It is in fact a lager style. It's a German thing. Um, and that's, I think that's, those were the first beers anyways, is they were lagers in Germany, anyways. So, uh, this is the beer. It's 6%. I saw on the website. It's not on the bottle. But I am going to try it. Now, uh, if you've seen my review with, uh, Beer Noob, I, if not, recommend it to watch it here. Um, and, uh, I, one thing I did say is that one of the beer styles I don't really care for is the dark lager. And I think that goes for almost all of the beers that branch, well, half of the beers that branch from the lager family, uh, which would be like Doppelbach, uh, Pilsner, um, but you know what, I like Pilsner. I do like Pilsner, I do like certain Doppelbachs, certain Helles Doppelbachs, I do like some of them, but in general I don't really go for red lagers, dark lagers, but, you know, uh, you know if anything, you know, I did the interview and Ron sent this to me, so he's really cool for doing that. Thanks so much, man. Uh, anyways, so here it is. It's very clear. It makes sense that it's a lager because it's quite clear, it's quite bubbly. Uh, so just imagine uh, uh, an Amerzen is a lager just with a little more malt, so it'll be sweeter. Uh, let me take a whiff of this. Well, don't smell too much yet. Yeah. And it's closer to room temperature, which is a good traditional European way. Uh, but I do smell the malts um, that gives it that color. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and drink this right away because I think I'm running out of batteries there. Mmm! Nice! This is really nice! I take it back, uh, whatever I said about not liking lager styles, I, I, I do like them, I just certain ones, like like dark lagers. Um, but this is really nice because it's, it has the refreshing qualities of a lager, but it has some of that roasty sweetness uh, from the malt. It's, it, it has, it's like, it's like a, a good lager, nice crisp clean lager with refreshing qualities. Now this is a beer made in America so it doesn't have some of that German hops kind of character to it. It doesn't have that more like mm, kind of thing. But it is good. Like if you, if you want a lager but has some sweetness to it and not much nuttiness, uh, I think this is definitely it. Yeah, caramelly some of the malts. I, you know what? The sweetness is very similar to the IPA, the loose cannon that I had the, the last review. I wonder if the certain malts that they use uh, just gives it that sweet quality, or are they just like sweeter stuff? I don't know. Maybe they're pirates and like sweet things. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, uh, that's about it. And th those are my thoughts so far. Um, it is sweet. Um, Quite sweet, actually. I think I think the Germans wouldn't like this too much because it's a bit on the sweet side, even for a Meritzen. Uh, but it does have the basic qualities of it, so it's, it's good. I this I, I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> you know, thanks so much, Ron, for sending me these. These were very good suggestions, and it's always great to try beers that you've never even heard from, uh, heard of. Uh, I mean, 
heavy seas. I mean, Baltimore, you don't really hear too much of Baltimore breweries, but this one is good. I mean, this is much better than some of the lesser known breweries in California, like brew house restaurant places that brew beer. It's definitely better than that. And so is the, uh, the IPA as well. But anyways, um, yeah, like I said, it's better than some of these brew house restaurants like BJ's in California and um, Gordon Biersch. Oh, Gordon Biersch, probably the only beer I like by them is their Meritzen. Uh, but this beats it by far, I mean, uh, by a long shot. So anyways, thanks again, Ron, and thanks all of you for watching my beer blog, and I'll see you guys in another one. Come pipe.